This is uh, a confectionery sunflower field uh, in the Texas Panhandle, north of Dumas. And our goals here is we're evaluating okay. hybrids uh, for producers in terms of what produces high yield, but also the quality of confectionery seed that processors use. And it's quite popular with a lot of folks. The chewing sunflower seeds, which a lot of people use. Uh, I'm one of those folks myself, uh, like sunflower seeds and what we're interested for a a good food product for something like that, so the larger seed size. And so the sunflowers in, in a test like this where we have many different types of confectionery varieties or hybrids are evaluated not just for yield in terms of what farmers would be paid for, but also the size of the seed. Because uh, it's not just because we're in Texas, but bigger seed is better in the case of the confectionery because they're usually worth about 50% more than the smaller seed. This is uh, a sunflower head that's been in bloom for probably the second day. We've got the showy ray petals and then the actual flowers that produce the seed are down here on the di on the face of the sunflower, what we would call the disc flowers. And uh, you know, it's always fascinating to look at, look at the pattern with the way the seeds are arranged on the head. And uh, you know, equally interesting to a lot of folks is how sunflowers Usually, uh, especially as they get to this stage, they face east. It doesn't matter where they're at, they face east. Uh, it's called nutation in sunflower, but uh, that is just a pattern in a lot of these sunflowers. By the time the petals begin to fall off, they will start to turn down. And uh, that actually is a good thing because uh, then the birds, if you have birds that are a problem, they can't get to the seed because it's, they kind of have to hang upside down to get to them. This is another example of a confectionery sunflower head. And if you notice in the center here, we've got pollen that uh, is available still here on the center of the head and just a little bit of a center there where we'll probably flower in the, in the morning. But uh, we can already see on this head, uh, the larger seed that we're gonna get for chewing and so forth is starting to develop here. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna rub what's left of the flowers off on the outside and you can see what's under here right now. Of course, they have a long ways to go, maybe about three or even, probably three, even four weeks before maturity. But you can see the seed here is starting to develop and swell already. And again, the larger the seed, the, the more valuable they are, the, the more uh, interest that people have as far as using those large seed for chewing. But uh, these sunflowers uh, in, in much of the U.S., we have confectionery sunflowers, we have oil seed. And uh, confectionery is, is fewer acres than the oil seed. They're not crushed for oil, they're more for food purposes uh, in terms of chewing and so forth. And uh, where we are in the Texas Panhandle, uh, there are delivery points in the area for the sunflowers. Uh, har harvesters usually have a special attachment for their combine that's uh, adapted for sunflower harvest so that they can do a better job. And then uh, some of the areas in the, in the region where we would have confectionery sunflowers go could be Lubbock, Texas, or they might go north to the Goodland, Colby, Kansas area would be two of the common markets for, uh, sunflower, for confectionery sunflowers in the Texas High Plains.